There are no shortage of new asymmetrical multiplayer horror games coming out. The subgenre has really started taking off. That said, most of these new games are sadly having very short lifespans once they're actually released, as they just can't find a permanent audience, due in large part to Dead by Daylight's incredible popularity. So how is it that the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game is going to be any different? Well, to answer that, let's talk about DBD's biggest issue, which is that it's a 1v4, one killer versus four survivors. Now, inarguably, a lot of players will love that about Dead by Daylight, myself included. I really enjoy playing killer and I don't mind the stress of it, but a lot of players do mind the stress and find it to be a completely awful experience. Because of that, they mostly choose to stick with playing Survivor. That way they can play with three other players on the same team and the stress gets divided amongst everyone. The killer role in turn can often feel very unfair because killer players have to rely on themselves 90% of the time, every small mistake can mean the difference between victory and a life-altering four-man escape. The big downside to all of this is that having such heavily different experiences between both the killer and survivors, two entirely different communities got formed. The divide between players not only makes every balance decision in Dead by Daylight a complete pain in the ass for the developers, but it also corrupts what was initially a horror game and converts it into a highly competitive game that slowly pushes players away if they aren't able to keep up. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre game fixes this problem almost entirely because it's a 3v4, three killers versus four survivors. So the stress factor of playing a solo role is basically gone and in its place, players can now choose which role they're more in the mood to experience at any given time. Since it's essentially a team game now, every player also has much more agency than they do in DBD. There doesn't need to be a boring meta objective to keep survivors busy while their teammate is getting chased. Every survivor is just trying to escape the map by physically getting out of it, no generators required. Additionally, 3v4 also comes with a lot of potential for new problems, but anytime they've been pressured, the devs have responded with complete confidence that it's an amazing formula and they have play tested thousands of hours of matches with it still feeling great after all that time, so I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Now going back to DBD, make no mistake, the Dead by Daylight community has literally murdered other asymmetrical games because of the killer versus survivor mentality. So when TCM releases, there will of course be players who walk around with Team Survivor or Team Killer t-shirts on and make Reddit thread after Reddit thread complaining about game balance not being in their favor. But the developers have gone on record explicitly saying that it's not really meant to be competitively balanced. It's a hide and seek game with chases. The gameplay is very cat and mouse. Stealth is a huge factor. If you're playing Survivor, there's a really good chance you're going to get slaughtered. Now to be fair, it's up to the developers to make it fun to die. Dying in video games for whatever reason is usually made out to be as annoying as possible. I'm not really sure why that's a thing that devs love doing, but usually your screen will turn into some awful color and you'll hear possibly the most annoying noise ever created. Yeah. But as long as the majority of players don't feel like they're somehow emotionally tied to a specific role, and everyone understands they are playing an asymmetrical horror game based on a horror movie franchise, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game will have a long lifespan and finally be the real true competitor that Dead by Daylight desperately needs. If Friday the 13th never got axed in the way it did, I'm confident that Dead by Daylight would be a much better game by today, a lack of competition does nobody any favors. TCM releases sometime next year, but based on early gameplay previews, the game is in a very stable state right now. It's completely playable, so I expect there to be some kind of beta much earlier. So what would you like to see the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game do better than Dead by Daylight? Are there specific features, balance? Let me know, and as always, thanks for watching and have a good one.